See that little guy? That is Leon Topithecus Rosalia, also known as the Golden Lion Tamarin. These omnivores are found in the swampy forests of Brazil. Orange hair gives them their namesake. In the wild, they're completely orange, but these are monitored species, so they have black markings so that the scientists can determine which individuals are which. We are currently trying to search them down. They have just entered this swampy area. These monkeys prefer to live in the swampy areas of the rainforest because that is where they feel safe. At night, they sleep in holes, but during the day, they're very active and forage around their territories, which are usually approximately 100 acres large. Unfortunately, their natural habitats are being overdeveloped right now, and their rainforests are being fragmented. Luckily, the Brazilian government has stepped in and is now relocating them. The monkeys are being relocated to biological reserves. On these reserves, scientists are study them. Mm -hmm. Here, we see the telemetry <laughs> techniques used to find the monkeys. But telemetry isn't the only way that they find the monkeys. They also use a system of playbacks. They use high-tech equipment and pre-recorded sounds to call the monkeys. Some people say that the monkeys know which makes it very difficult to locate them sometimes, but with some persistence and all these techniques, you will easily find them. They also tend to like bananas a lot. Remember how I was talking about how the Brazilian government covers these animals? Well, they have two biological reserves for them. One is Pocos de las Santas, and the other is the Unyao Biological Reserve. Now these are very unique in that only students or biologists can gain access to these sites. These little guys are endangered. There's only approximately 1,500 of them in the wild. There are also 450 in zoos of the world, which also includes the Beardsley Zoo in Bridgeport, Connecticut. These monkeys don't eat just bananas. They're omnivores, so they also eat insects, small lizards, and other fruit. They do still go bananas for bananas, though. If you have more banana, we need more. And that's a cecropia. Uh, he's foraging on the little banana of the cecropia. Oh no. The golden lion tamarins live in family groups of two to nine individuals. They usually consist of only two breeding adults, and the rest are the young. So, similar to humans, once you're old enough, you're kicked out. But also, tamarins have twin burrs, so you're never without a friend. The Brazilian people love the tamarins so much that they put them on their $20 banknote. That chirping that you've been hearing this entire time is their food calls. Say goodbye to the tamarins as we head to the coast for some very special turtles. <laughs> In the sleepy town of Farol, we find the Tamar Project, one of the greatest nonprofits in Brazil. For over 30 years, they have protected the sea turtle in every aspect of its life. Here are some babies being released. <laughs> 